Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to use columns in Microsoft Office Word. Let's go ahead and do a new document first. And just to have some text on our screen, let's do equal symbol R A N D, open parent 20, comma 7, close. We'll end up with 20 paragraphs, seven sentences in each one. Press enter on the keyboard. Go back to the top of the document. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to highlight the first paragraph and make it bold. I'm going to click in front of the second paragraph. If you notice in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, it says page 104. It always has the page number in Microsoft Word. I'm going to right-click and turn on the Word section. So now every document that I open in Word will have the Word section, and all documents have at least one section. So it says Section 1. So I'm in front of the second paragraph with the insertion point. I'm going to go to the Page Layout tab, click on Breaks, and you want to do a Section Break Continuous. So I just added a Section 2 where I'm at. Click on Columns and go to 2. So there's my two newspaper columns the rest of the way through the document. If you want to go to three columns, just simply go to Columns 3, but I'm going to go back to 2. If you want to put a line between the two columns, go to Columns more columns, check line between and click OK. I'm going to do an undo to take out the line. If I decide to go back to one column, so I'm again, I've got two columns the rest of the way through the document, and at this paragraph right here I want to go back to one column, breaks, continuous, Take a look in the bottom left corner, it just added section 3, columns 1. So real quickly back to the top, one column to start the document, then two columns which is section 2, and then we go back to one column which becomes section 3 throughout the rest of the document. So that's why you need to know how to use section breaks and put in your columns. And one last time with an existing document, I already have it set up. Once again, I have one section. I'm going to click in front of the W and Web, Breaks, Continuous. That added Section 2, Columns 2. There are my two columns. I want to put a page break right here at Career Corner. So I'm going to click in front of Career Corner. And the reason I want the page break is I want to put a picture here. Do not press Enter, Enter, Enter. Don't do that put a page break. Either do control enter or if you're a mouse person breaks page. Down on page 3 I'm going to click in front of this speaker. I want a picture here once again enter 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 is wrong because you have newspaper columns or just columns you want to go to breaks column and that moved the speaker up to the top right and I can put a picture down here now. So hopefully that will help you out with your section breaks continuous and your columns. Thank you for your time.